Grace, this is unbelievable. Thank you. So I, 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 I drive by and I see the pool house going up and I see the pool being built. But just to get into your head about like what you were thinking with all of this mm -hmm. is such a treat. So I thank you so much for letting me do Well, this. thank you for coming out. What I love about this pool house is it connects directly in mm -hmm. to the house. I mean, it looks like an extension of the house. It's not just an add-on. So I thought that was so thoughtfully done. What caused you to create it so cozy like this? Like what was... What was um, behind your thinking with just having it feel so cozy with the doors? Well, we really wanted something that we could use all year long. And so that was why it was so important to make it sort of homey, but also to be able to open it up entirely. So that's why we did the big sliders on the three sides um, instead of more like a pavilion where you couldn't close it up. And that's why we added the ceramic heaters and the fireplace. And we really do use it all year round. We, do. We, do. Um, we use the pool year round, we heat it up and, um, and and it's just a great extension of our house, like you said. The way yeah. the house is positioned, even in August when it's 95 degrees outside, you open the, up the doors, the shade from the trees keeps it, it's in the shade line, so it stays 78, 80, you know, roughly in here. Almost year round. Year round. So. Yeah, so it's not like a pavilion feeling. It's literally like a room that you can open up. The doors go all the way into, into the windows. Yeah, sometimes right. I feel like a goldfish in here. Because, ah! I mean, you know, but, but it's really neat to be able to just look out and see the pool, the yard, the house, you know. So let's talk about, like, how do you use this space? I know that you said, uh, Trip, Grace's mom comes in here and pretty much doesn't leave. Right. She sits here and enjoys it. I mean, mm -hmm. you, have, um, you have a refrigerator and you have really entertaining, like, space. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, you know, we... We tried to design it where we thought if we were, you know, entertaining, you know, people, not just us, um, it'd be something that you could just stay out here most of the day. Um, and so it's it's one of those things you could literally be here all day and, and not need anything. So. Yeah. So when your friends um, asked you, like, why didn't you put a big, because you had this big... <laughs> uh, vision for this pool house right. and then you're like wow this is costing as much as my very first house ever did mm -hmm. and so you had to cut the you had to cut the project down mm -hmm. And your friends or someone said, like, why didn't you do a whole kitchen in here? But you were like, well, we don't even use our own kitchen. Which is pretty much can, true. Yeah, I mean, we can have DoorDash bring, literally cross the, the sidewalk and bring you the food. Correct. Right. And I think that's brilliant because yeah. then you don't have this big kitchen. Yeah. But this was yeah. meant to be an entertainment area, not a living area, right? So, I mean, we've got a full bar out here and, you know, it's what you need around the pool and the hot tub and so forth. So yeah, it uh, worked out well. Wow, it is unbelievable. Y'all did a great job. And so what's a pool house without a pool, right? Exactly. Absolutely. So let's go look at it. The main attraction. This is so beautiful. Thank you. You know, with the two acres of property, I know Trip, you were specific about wanting to protect the road from the mm -hmm. property and not just have a hedge of Leland Cypress. Yeah, we tried to, um, tried, oh, I mean, we walked the road multiple times and it hasn't grown in quite yet, but we strategically, let me try that again, strategically <laughs> placed uh, trees that would block viewpoints from the road. Um, I think within a year or two, I mean, we'll, we'll have some nice privacy, but right now it's still a little open. Yeah. So. And then, um, and then what I thought was so great with the music, because you're real into lighting and right. all around the house, instead of bringing up lighting from the ground, right. y'all put lighting in the soffits and brought the lighting down all around the house. So that's just like a beautiful scene. Yeah, when in, we in first moved days. in, it was all, you know, from the ground up and they were always getting clogged up with leaves or kicked over by somebody. Mm -hmm. So when we did this project, we redid the lighting on the house, but then also lit up probably 17 trees throughout the property so at night it mm -hmm. just kind of glows it's neat okay and then we can't forget the rocks hello <laughs> we have a sonos system sound system out we here do. We do. in the pool house and outside and you have rock you have speakers in your rocks yeah yeah there's, there's four of them around the uh, the pool and they all face in so it more or less kind of uh keeps uh, even uh, flow of music or sound throughout the property. So. And it actually plays inside as well. We have it 
and so you can play different zones with different music. And then also for when we're watching football games, we can get the TV sound out here, which is really nice Sit for in the, the hot fall. tub and watch the football game. Okay, yeah. uh, that's perfect. Guys, I cannot thank you enough for allowing me to come. You know, I've driven by your house like every day, multiple times a day because you're my neighbor, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so it was a super treat for me to actually see the inside after everything was finished. Well, Thank we appreciate you coming out. It yeah. was great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Don't miss another video visit. Click to subscribe and have Behind the Curtain virtually delivered from our doorstep to yours.